Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and I'm sorry this is out so late. I've literally just got back from the gym. Yes, you heard it correct the first time. The gym. Yes, I recently, well, should I put it this way? I left one because it wasn't the greatest. I joined another one. I'm actually loving the new one that I'm at. You can see my hair's all done because I just had a shower. And yeah, recently just got back from the gym. Good session, man. Thanks for asking. <laughs> really, really, really good session. But yeah, I'm here tonight. To bring you the England v Costa Rica uh, preview, as we all know, they obviously play uh, England tomorrow night, obviously at Ellen Road, uh, obviously that's going to be England's last game, and Costa Rica's last game, I think, before both teams fly out to Russia, oh man, I'm out of this World Cup, man, I'm so excited, I'm literally so excited, but like I say, man, I've got so many videos that I want to do, um, but like I say, obviously, 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 as I, I've... Oh, I'm going to say obviously again now. Obviously, as I promised you guys before, I will preview and review every single England game. That's every single England game, no matter if it's World Cup or whatever, I bring you a preview. This is the preview, and as it is, been mega, mega busy, and that's why I'm only getting out to you now. So I do apologise very much, but like I say, hope you can all forgive me. And like I say, the preview's here. Got some notes in front of me that I'm going to tell you guys now. And uh, yeah, let's get through them. So like I say, Costa Rica... How much do I know Costa Rica? Well, they're pretty close to Panama. Now, Panama are in the, obviously inside of England's group for the World Cup. I'd love to see, honestly, I'd love to see this happen. And obviously, England go through, but I'd love to see Panama v Costa Rica somewhere because obviously, if them two are kind of like rival countries, I think it'd be great against to see. Because if you look on the map, to be fair, Costa Rica's here, well, here, and Panama's literally there, they're so close together. So I think it'd be a proper, proper good rival game. But like I say Costa Rica manages Oscar Ramirez. And obviously, we know one of the guys called Ramirez. Gaston Ramirez, and no, he didn't make his national team for Uruguay. I said it right that time, but yeah. A lucky old pal. That's what snakes get, yeah? Yeah? You don't go you don't go on on these sort of competitions. Unlucky, my friend. Now, if you play at the stadium of Estadio Nacional de Costa Rica, now, I thought I pronounced that pretty well. I thought I pronounced that pretty well. Like I said, I found it back in 1921. So, to be fair, they have been a football inside for a long time. Not so much long as, um, like I say, many other teams I've ever... Done these previews with, but I say, the bit of football in the time for quite a while. So I say, captain, Brian Ruiz of Costa Rica. As we all know, he was ex-Fulham. He did play in a crazy game a few years ago when Fulham beat Juventus 4-1. Yeah, that was a mad game. To see Fulham beat them 4-1, I mean, Fulham were class back then, to be fair. Yeah, the same, Brian Ruiz, who had a screamer. That's, who, that's obviously his national team. The most caps, I don't know who this guy is, but I'll tell you anyway. Walter um, Centino. He got 137 caps, and the highest goal scorer is Rolando Fonseca, and he's got 47 goals. Now, these names, I thought you had to pronounce, and I thought they would be pretty hard to pronounce, but I'll tell you what, they're not that badly now, I'll say. And in terms of World Cup appearances for Costa Rica, they've only been in the well, sure, this is pretty good for them, because I'll be honest with you, the first ever World Cup or tournament they ever qualified for was back in 1990. Four years later, your boy AJT was born. So it's a long, long time. I imagine being a Costa Rica fan and being born in the 1900s. And then obviously 1921, you know what I mean, national team comes about. But then, let's like say, let's like say you get to 19 year old and then your team qualifies for the World Cup at 90. I mean, 90 years old and your team only just then qualifying for a tournament. But yeah, like I say, man, that's amazing. He's qualified late and they have been in and out of tournaments, but obviously the last two being 2014. Oh no, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, my mistake. 2010, they didn't qualify. Uh, 2012, they did. And 20, 2014, they did. Um, I forgot that. Have I got that right? I'm pretty sure I got that right there. I, was like, I, don't, I won't pause the video, but I will tell you. No, 2016, 2014, they got right. Yeah, I was right. 2016, 2014 was the last two tournaments to qualify for. And the highest ever finish was back in 2014. And that was a quarter final. So, not bad. I mean, Costa Rica must have some decent players if they get into Brazil's quarter final. Um, not bad at all, to be honest. Not, not bad at all. I mean, Costa Rica, to qualify for the World Cup, it must be a decent team, especially for Panama as well. I mean, I didn't even know Panama were worth the truth, but that's really bad of me. As soon as we were drawn to them, I thought, who the hell are these? Um, Costa Rica, yeah, okay, England, been, England have to play them on, t obviously, tomorrow night. We should be beating Costa Rica, no problem, when you look at it on paper. Look at our team compared to their team. Now, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to underestimate any sort of team, but I'm thinking to myself, Come on, man. I know I might be underestimating these, but we should be beating these. And even if it's the World Cup, even if it's the warm game, we shouldn't really have a problem. To be honest, we shouldn't really have a problem. If we get through their last five games, <clears throat> they've actually drawn none, but took a pretty heavy beating off Spain. Um, but I say, I say, they've won two, 
They've actually lost three. They beat Scotland away 1-0, which is obviously a great result for them. Away from home in Scotland. It was pretty intimidating playing up there, but they managed to pull through and beat them 1-0. They just beat Northern Ireland, so obviously, obviously, obviously going to this game, they actually beat Northern Ireland 3-0. They absolutely battered Northern Ireland back in the Estadio Nacional Stadium, obviously being home of Costa Rica. Um, and let's go through some of their losses now. These have played a team in our group, Tunisia. They actually got beat 1-0 by Tunisia away. They got beat by Hungary, 1-0 away, and they got absolutely battered by Spain, 5-0 away. So for me, when he's coming against a half-decent team, yeah, Costa Rica can be absolutely battered, to be honest. They can be absolutely hammered. Can England, will England, that's the thing, will England go all out tomorrow night, knowing that if one of, you know, obviously, obviously, will England players think to themselves in the back of the Reds, I don't know, if I get injured here, I ain't going to, you know what I mean, obviously, 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 if they get injured, in one of their players, and say if he's a big name, to, 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 to every single England player is a big name, obviously, obviously going to Russia, and say if they're off of the World Cup, they won't want to have that happen. So, are they going to go all out in this game? Or, um, I think they should, because at the end of the day, and they obviously, obviously, at the end of the day, they're just paying fans going. They should really, you know what I mean, should really give in a decent I'm sure they will. But I just don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be much as normal. And then obviously, look at England. Obviously, England coming to this one off another win. Obviously, beat Nigeria at Wembley on Saturday, beating 2-1. Wasn't wasn't the best, wasn't the worst performance. I think first half England were pretty well. I think, I think England thought England played pretty well. Second half died down a little bit, but I think the damage was already done. Obviously, Alex and Wobby got an early goal back for Nigeria, but I don't think they're ever going to really hurt us. So I said decent performance going to this one, and then obviously this one's our last one before we go to Russia. I really, I want to say, I say I'm going to go for my formation now. I'm not going to put the same sort of line. I'll just say formation is what um, Gareth Southgate will go for. I'm going to go for a four-four-two the diamond in the midfield. And I've chosen the players that I think should play because I don't see many of these players playing, obviously, out in Russia, should I say, now starting 11 apart from two, maybe three. So I'm going to go through it now. And if you agree with me, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you don't agree with me, leave it in the comment section down below. So, in goal, Jack Butland, I think he's already been confirmed. Uh, Jack Butland is in goal. And uh, like I say, man, I heard a little bit of a tiff between him and Jordan Pickford, saying that even Jordan Pickford, obviously, even though, even though, even though he got the number one shirt, Jack Putnam said, oh, well, oh, I didn't guarantee him to play. He didn't guarantee him to play every single game in Russia. So, oh, mate, where about to Kevin this, Jack? Just calm down, mate. You might get picked, you might not. If you don't get picked, well, what the hell can they do? Do you know what I mean? But I say, pick, pick, uh, I say Butland is in goal tomorrow night. My back four is Alexander Arnold, a right back. Uh, two centre-back pairing being Phil Jones and Maguire. And my left back, Ashley Young. I think them four players there, maybe Young, maybe playing out in Russia, maybe he's in our first game. But you look at him thinking, well, if any of four defenders got injured, can they be replaced? Maybe. But like I say, I say, um, obviously in that team, obviously in that team, I've obviously rested the likes of Walker, Trippier, Rose, uh, Cahill, Stones, because they're like our main defenders. That I think will play out on Russia if one of them got injured. Yes, one of these guys can step in and do the job. But I'm, I, me personally, I feel more safe. Of, 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 I would feel more safe if one of them plays playing instead of one of these at the back. My opinion. My back four, or should I say, I should say the four in midfield. My sort of, my sort of defensive four in midfield, though, which would be Jordan Henderson again, Eric Dyer. I thought should have been captain, but I'm sure who, obviously who I thought should have been captain, but it is what it is. I'm going to rest Eric Dyer. I'm going to bring in Jordan Henderson on my right, Loftus Cheek. I actually am a big, big fan of Ruben Loftus Cheek. I think he's a great player. Not many people like him, maybe, maybe not, but like I say, man, I'm a big, big fan of Ruben Loftus Cheek. I think he's got great potential. He's only young. I uh, say, man. I think. Um, I say, man. I think. I think he's. A, I think he's a cracking young player. Out on the left, he's played in this position before. Going for Danny Welbeck out on the left and up top. Um, I've gone for Marcus Rashford and Harry Kane. Obviously, Harry Kane's our captain, so he's kind of got to start. And yeah, I say, I say, man. That's going to be my starting eleven, and that's going to be the uh, Costa Rica v England preview. And I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I'm a bit downbeat, man. I just feel dead tired, like dead drained after being in the gym. But I say, my gym's going good. I actually want to do a vlog with me, obviously, training in the gym and stuff like that, but I don't know if you guys want to see I say, say, if you guys want to see me sort of training, the, sort of, sort of, sort of going training in the gym, let me know, let me know down below. And yeah, I say, uh, anyone that's going up to Ellen Road tomorrow night, be safe, have a good time, and uh, yeah, let's hope that England win. My prediction before I go is England 4, Costa Rica 1. I think we should absolutely batter these. I don't really see any problems with England walking through this team, no disrespect to Costa Rica. Look at that team, look at England, I think England should wear comfortably. But yeah, guys, take care, and uh, see you again tomorrow for yet another video on the AJT channel. Guys, take care. Up the England!